in their working class and our class this is a very important talk and uh, now the indian working class facing lot of uh, problems and uh, it's mainly political uh, problem so for me actually uh, presenting the matter in the english also problem so i have not that, that much uh, uh, flexibility in the in this now way uh, still i want try to present the importance of the issue and uh, points for the uh, communicating the moment first thing is so after successful a struggle of the indian peasantry against kanthi uh, farmers bill <coughs> Uh, adopted by the modi government so in the all over india in each and every sector there are uh, 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 new uh, assurance there are new opportunities so even every sector people are struggling for their uh, protecting their rights their livelihood so especially in the sub section like that is adivasi women and other social strata they are fight for their rights and their livelihood but in indian uh, political situation the role of the indian working class to who lead the indian working class they must know the what is the character of the corporate attack on the indian working class so now the central government led by rss bjp they are propagating for their reform is on the uh, indian working class and their uh, media their mainstream media their website uh, they are propagating so according to them now they impose the Yeah, uh, new policies, new reforms in industries on working class in the name of uh, development, improvement, and fair business or fast uh, moving business. So in this time, we must understand the uh, uh, historical root of uh, reforms on the. Working class are industry of jobs. We must remember, we must uh, uh, consider before going to the matter. I want to uh, express my view to you. The workers, uh, the Indian working class, have the extreme uh, struggle for their rights. Their uh, against colonial system against british colonial system there was a very big fight there was a very big long run struggle against the uh, <coughs> colonial system simultaneously for the better work condition and wage condition and livelihood after october October revolution the whole situation was changed and the situation of india also changed and uh, there was a uh, very progressive movement national liberation movement and uh, socialist force of expansion nation and national liberation movement and movements for so democratic rights all over the world held in indian working class also part, part of this international for So mainly after Second World War, so first after Second World War, uh, there was a situation increasing the socialist forces in all over world. Socialist forces, socialist camp, and proletarian forces, national liberation forces. There was an increase. After Second World War, 
the world input system temporarily step back and uh, they say their strategy and tactics for the exploitation they adopt the actually liberal policy they adopt the liberal policy <laughs> with competing with the socialist system what of international capitalist imperialist system there was a liberal policy in the second world war uh, in everywhere not only in india in everywhere there was a first round uh, reforms in the industry or uh, reforms on the working class the indian uh, labor law came in so after 1947 then uh, power transfer was there so 1947 between that time of 1940 50 the number of uh, industrial acts <coughs> major acts union major acts and all almost all important acts are adopted by in that time so after that uh, so anyway so after long run struggle of the indian working class and uh, liberal policies from the international capitalist imperialist system in all over india all over the world the first round reforms first round uh, labor laws are accepted and uh, accepted for implementation but no implementation there was a law section in india there are uh, 44 central laws so many are the number of state laws are so when the uh, modi government uh, proposed to for the new labor reform or new labor force they are defining they are justifying the new changes so according to the modi government so on uh, new labor laws they are definitely uh, uh this is a pro worker a pro industry pro national development this is a one person second question is this party for central labor law they are actually exercising the party for central labor laws and uh, so many state laws are really hurdle for the and the industrial situation and state development this is a reason uh, told by the modi government then the uh, so modi government prepared the draft of the new labor law new labor code with all discussion in the rajya sabha they adopted the core labor code in the name of they are proposing in the these new labor reforms are new labor code for the work the better industry better industry relations they are they are proposing so one thing is uh, very clear this modi government continue continue the new liberalism privatization globalization liberalization especially privatization so one side they are propagating the economic policies or uh, new liberal policies under side they prepared uh, new uh, labor reforms for uh, uh, industrial development or uh, industrial development. this is a contract that is really to be there for them uh, they, they want to serve the uh, imperialism a corporate system corporate uh, mode of production they want to remove that so uh, legal rights of the labor market so the they accept the uh, proposal and they adopt the four labor code first is actually code uh, on wages so previous there are number of independent acts and linking different interpretations for the particular for particular interest of the working class now on code on wages is different interpretation and different interest act it means actually the basic security of the working people and uh, 
so this increment of the working people and uh, collective bargaining for the this increment of the working people are not uh, freely in this court so this is one of the reason i can be actually code on industrial relation so now so they are saying it is code on industrial relation third one is the code on social security and uh, fourth one is code on occupational safety health and work condition so in the place of passage of central law central government adopting the new for labor code till so sangha parivar and their corporate lobby corporate media propagate these four codes are new labor reforms for the welfare of the workers ordinary workers for the people are in this but we should do a discuss that thing what are the problems actually what they want actually according to real now after two years pandemic in the name of pandemic there there will be serious attack on the working class especially migrant workers industrial workers transport workers everybody under attack in the pandemic period and after that actually no job security or wage security in the production in any sector sector by or layer by actually there is no security so now that these four uh, labor codes are accepted not implemented that is they are accepted but in different way in different state already they got the practice already they got the practice in maharashtra in karnataka and other states uh, they adapt the state uh, act <coughs> and they are implemented so i want to discuss two three aspects so, so regarding the new new labor reform what is the effect what is the point of the new labor reform first thing is the uh, uh, worker interpretation what regarding worker existing as actually there is a different interpretation up to this my this time according to existing law so there are five uh, categories in the worker one is actually permanent second so temporary and uh, third actually casual fourth bodily and the uh, fifth one is provisional according to existing <coughs> labor laws there are five categories but according to new labor codes <coughs> they add another category that is a fixed term code so permanent temporary casual badly provisional plus fixed term contract or fixed term contract employment this is the so new interpretation and uh, new application in regarding the worker so uh, i can think actually that is very important so through new labor force indian ruling class led by the modi sarkar they openly serve the corporate capital especially international finance capital so international finance capital who want cheap labor in india and third world country so they want to destroy the concept and the definition and concept of the permanent nature of work permanent employment But they want to dismantle and destroy the permanent employment this permanent the concept of the permanent employment and the legal rights of the permanent employment also obstacle for the uh, building up the industry or yeah, industrial development that is the the uh, government led by the modi so this is the main thing 
I still think is actually uh, A1 destroy the permanent uh, employment system means job security. And uh, they want destroy the wage system and wage condition. And actually, they want destroy the social security benefit. So, in labor courts, there, they show the in white and black manner. For example, uh, instead of uh, 8 hours duty or 40, 35 years permanent job, actually. So, they, they want implementing to they want implementing fixed term contract. Fixed term contract means actually the <laughs> so quantity of work works actually, manufacturing work actually. It is one year or six months or three years actually. Company or management wants this much, that much uh, quantity of uh, manufacturing. That is the main criteria for the fixed term contract. According to contract, according to work, according to uh, production, uh, they are go going to pay wages. This is a very uh, danger. This is the first time in Indian uh, working class. This is a plain attack on the Indian working class. Second thing is the, uh, so in course, uh, on course, there was a debate in the government website and the uh, advertisement. Uh, discussions. Uh, this uh, new labor code, uh, code on social security is also very wonderful, very beautiful, and it helps the working class. But in uh, right of in uh, what they accept in right of regarding social security benefits, actually they first uh, uh, attack on the provision uh, funding. So according to existing provident fund act, act, the employee contribution is 12 percent. So employee contribution is 13 percent. So now according to new labor uh, code on social security bills, the employee's contribution is 10 percent. They are publicly their highlight the home paid salary of the workman is uh, increased in the name of increasing. Home paid salary, they want to reduce the employer contribution, provident fund contribution. When the employer contribution is 10%, naturally, employer contribution is 10 or 11%. This is the uh, attack on the labor uh, social security. Benefit. So, along with this, actually, <laughs> Uh, in the, regarding industry sector, the interpretation or definition on the in, industry. So, according to new uh, labor law, the industry means some criteria. So, after this time, actually, industry means the, the industry is under people, under workmen. According to the the manufacturing in the uh, factory, factory is 300 work. Less than 300 workers in the factory, that is not a factory, that is not an industry. This is the very serious thing. Now, the production system in the international level, national level, in every sector, in especially manufacturing sector. Uh, nowadays, the centralized Manufacturing is uh, not existing. In almost manufacturing sector, the uh, all manufacturing in one umbrella, one umbrella industry are opposed by the capitalist, finance capitalist and corporate. So they want instead of one main or central or umbrella industry, they want ten. Uh, industry with uh, under people or uh, under people. Up to this time, was the factory with under people is considered as the industry or factory. Now, according to new labor code, actually, the factory definition means uh, the production is uh, more than 300 people. Using this uh, law, 
actually there are decentralization the decentralization of the manufacturing especially automobile actually <laughs> previous up to this time and previous actually there was centrally manufacturing the spare parts for the old vehicle or automobile uh, they were the central manufacturing now the number of uh, decentralized uh, industry uh, they are producing spare parts of the automobile this is the main thing so another thing is uh mainly uh workers uh the work condition and their wage condition workers want the struggle and the uh, wages and job security and livelihood so for that actually indian working class i for a very long time they get the uh, legal opportunity and legal support their collective bargaining means the right to <coughs> form the union <coughs> right to form the union right to strike right to union right to speak so uh, indian freedom act 1926 and the uh, industry dispute act 1947 there are other acts actually uh, according to existing labor law indian workers have the right to form the union right to strike and speak fight but according to new industrial relation code so these uh, rights are uh, cut down and removed and uh, um, <coughs> the rights of the collective bargaining of the workers are prevented very much so right of Right to strike also prevent. Right to strike also prevent. So up to this time, our existing labor laws, especially essential uh, sector, uh, before going the uh, union or worker, uh, before going to the strike, uh, they will uh, issue the fourteen days notice. An existing act, so fourteen days advance notice should be must. Now, after going to a new labor court, the two months previous notice issue to the management or uh, appropriate other. This is openly shows actually. This is the clear uh, attack on the working class rights, right to union, right to strike, right to speak, right to collective bargaining, right to fight. Actually. This is a very clear attack on the uh, working class. So, along with this, actually, now Indian working people, the sense of the unorganized sector, sense sense of unorganized uh, workers number is very 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 big. For them, up to two two thousand days, there was no uh, legal security for the unorganized sector in India. Only two thousand days. The unorganized sector worker act adopted in two two thousand days. Except that there is no legal <coughs> security or protection to the unorganized uh, worker. Even if a horse and cross uh, worker in the sector, so without appointment, without paper, without record. So, after this time, there is no except one act that the Amaravati sector workmen has to fulfil. There is no other protection, legal protection. But now, so according to new labour code, actually, so uh, the Amaravati one to apply this new labour code in the uh, sector, the Amaravati worker. Became a slave. There is no legal security or bargaining given in the union. Only opportunity now the central government uh, and the state government also their job, their duty or their uh, 
successfully meet the any uh, uh, even local sector. For example, uh, in any state, in any sector, by far the wages for the worker. That cannot possible. Because in every sector, this damper labor system is rampant. Already in number of sectors, especially the automobile sector, this uh, fixed term order system is already sorted. First, we should understand the uh, economic interest of the poll. Put forward by the BJP and Kalita This behind uh, this new labor law, so there is an implementation of labor labor. Without fighting neoliberalism, we can't fight the new labor labor. This is a very, very, very important part. So, uh, who are working in the trade union movement, the workers movement, especially unorganized sector, they must have the political pool. They must have the class pool, working class politics against neoliberal politics. Against the corporate capitalist system, all capitalist system. So, this is the situation. Now, you know, the threatening of South Ram fascism or propagating Hindu Rasta, building Hindu Rasta, the main program of Sanyu uh, Sarivar is implementing all pro corporate economic policies in all over India in each and every sector. This is the, the, this is the main uh, interest of the India Buddhist So, therefore, they, they are saying, they are uh, propagating communal, caste, and uh, their own national uh, definition. So, in their main economic political policies are serving the information, foreign capital, foreign finance, corporate capital, Indian. Emperor capital or corporate system. So, regarding this, actually, other parties have been Congress. So, any uh, regarding this issue, Congress have any alternative or any regional party have the alternative? Alternative means who are totally opposing neoliberal. This new liberal policy, uh, relation between the neoliberalism and the uh, new liberal. What is very close, interconnected directly, without defeating the so, neoliberalism, without fighting the neoliberalism, we can be able to fight the new labor. This is the main understanding. With this understanding, and uh, first, actually, the unity of the working work, work is all national level, national level, central regime, sector wise. Uh, Trade unions to come out with a common uh, slogan against this new labor force, along with again, they should have the position against new liberalism. Now, the, there was a division. Some people are rising their way against one Hindu or or their nationalism. So, we must correctly understand the relation between Hindu fascism and new liberalism. Hindu mm -hmm. fascism and neoliberalism is two sides of the same coin, same thing, same class interest. That is the capitalist thing, that is the corporate interest, that is against the Indian working people, Indian working class. We must understand in this aspect and unite the uh, build up the all India platform, real struggling platform for the world. Maybe after next election, so after some time, this attack also increasing, more increasing. That is, they are going to put this uh, corporate loss in the implementation. Once they legally put, the, put the, this corporate loss in the practice, then the situation is very bad, very dangerous. Before that, actually, so we should understand the present situation. 
Indian, so all central trade unions who are opposing neoliberalism, who are opposing communal eco fascism, Sangapari war, who are opposing corporatization of the industry, who are opposing the fiscal contract system, they come out, they get together. They build actually, so struggling platform for the Indian working class. So through long run struggle, wider struggle, continuous struggle, this is the so uh, uh, fascist government. This is the fascist uh, labor law. This is a very important challenge. And now, uh, so the center of India, we are trying to build a uh, common platform, a class platform for fighting. And uh, uh, we are actually uh, participating in a different struggle, in a different sector ways and different states. So now that I request the uh, comrades who have the experience with the trade union working class movement, they should uh, think seriously. One, one thing I want to uh, 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 here. The, Depoliticization of the Indian workers. Compared to peasantry, farmers, the, the politic, political level of the political level or political understanding of the Indian working class is very low. This should be considered. Self critically, all leadership, all leading leader, leadership who wants revolution, who wants that for the revolution, who wants to build the working class movement. For working class liberation and people's liberation, they must understand, they must directly gauge the Indian proletariat have the very lower political understanding due to economicism, due to legal Marxism, due to economicism, due to legal Marxism, due to legalism, we were losing the revolutionary or class politics within the working class. Now, that is, that is really help to the ruling class, our corporate capital, our corporate uh, operation. So even compared to Adivasi, Adivasi are organized, organized. They write their vice against the uh, Modi, or corporate class, their criminal class. Women are some in the streets. Husbands are struggling after the historic uh, passion moment. Still passions are resisting. But what is happening? What is the problem with the working class? The problem is not with the working class. The problem is the leadership who leading the Indian, who have the who leading the Indian working class. They 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 are losing the class position. First thing is how to police the Indian working class. This is the basic thought based on this thought. So mobilize the working class, build the national level platform for struggling against this corporate attack, combat corporate attack, and uh, so fight until reject the this four new uh, labor force and defeat the fascist zone. This much from my one uh, present for the work. <laughs> Hello? 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 Uh, yeah. uh, hello, comrade. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, comrade, uh, for your speech on the subject. There are two, three questions, general questions, uh, has uh, sent to my WhatsApp. The first thing, uh, one, one question from uh, Doha, I want to comprehend. Uh, during the historical farmers' movement, they were struggling against uh, three uh, farm laws, corporatization of agriculture, and three uh, farm laws. They, they made a historic struggle, and uh, at least they blocked the uh, fascist government's move uh, in that direction. At the same time, 
there are similar kind of uh, labor code is uh, made by the uh, Modi government. Even that time, uh, farmers also requested the working class or trade union uh, to come for a united struggle. So there was a very historically very important uh, uh, situation was there while uh, farmers were struggling. Uh, why this trade union or united trade union to be uh, joined with the farmers, not only for the farmers' cause, but for the working class cause also, especially on uh, uh, dangerous uh, for labor court uh, reformation. So, what was the, um, uh, the delay? I mean, uh, why the trading, uh, trade union leadership did not go for that way? And what was the position of Trade Union Center of India, which you are the one of the national leaders? This is a one question. So, Komar, this is a very, very important question. Uh, Komar is asking. It's a very important uh, question before the uh, working class leaders. So, uh, Trading Center of India, we have the organization struggle in different uh, states and different states. We fully support. Uh, independently fully support with the historical farmers movement. But that is, we are not satisfied. We are not uh, satisfied with that effort. So after the historic farmers uh, struggle, what is the role of Indian working, working class? That is the main thing. I already told that. So superficially, there are one or two problems. The Central Trade Unions with their political party. So CAT with the CPM, APC with CPI, some AC to the liberation, like the partisan uh, column. The main column is the main central union recognizes the uh, workers' issue. They are not recognized the politically uh, new liberal onslaught on the India, mainly classes, farmers and workers. That's why we already I uh, spoke. Indian, Indian work class is very large, not just in the strength, very big compared to the China Revolution, compared to the Russian Revolution. Any revolution up to this time was held. The number strength is a very big, but the understanding, the political understanding of the Indian working class is very slow. What is the problem? Due to the non politics. Economism, legal Marxism, mechanical Marxism. That is why actually the whole Central Union have the platform for a call in yearly one September, October, one day. That is a namesake call actually. But still, in that call actually, course and course actually, in 2017 or 18. There was all India call, September call by the Central Station. The participation of the workers number is 18 crore, 20 crore. No central union or no central platforms are clear, clearly, they don't want exposing the uh, new liberal policy. They don't want political struggle like this. But do you say? According to Tisha and our experience actually, we want to prepare the working class as a political class actually, as a political force. Without building the working class as a political force, leading the struggle or defeating the anti-labor laws or neoliberalism, no revolution in India, the world actually. That is the main problem. Now all reactionary forces, NGOs, reactionary forces, that is communal forces are engaging among the working class. They are propagating their reactionary politics. They are propagating their NGO politics. They are propagating their identity politics among the working class. We are not propagating, we are not ready to propagating our class politics among our class actually. This is the main reason. We must rectify. This way, so you say 
want actually uh, restart the uh, political movement so in coming november actually first we were going to five days uh, uh, national programs campaign especially in delhi again it is new labor for science fascism and we want you know in the whole central region leader number first week we are going to organize the dharna in front of the parliament of delhi we want to invite the we have the plan for invite the whole central region leader to speak what is the problem this is the situation first thing is update the working class politically update the working class without updating politically working class no working class movement like form of this is the question thank you comrade for the clarity and clarifying the question and another question uh, comrade sun uh, Yes, regarding the last three decades, uh, more than three decades of neoliberalism and the corporate attack on the working class. The working class has been um, largely uh, disintegrated, unorganized sector. Only 3% or something like that is the organized sector. Now, it is huge proportion is unorganized sector, especially uh, during the lockdown time. This was exposed the migrant workers of uh, course of migrant workers all over the country was so struggling and they were not organized and they are not a force of organized working under the work class so what is the plan uh, for organizing this unorganized huge proportion of unorganized sector uh, either by any the whole working class union or any specific target from Uh, of India. So, so now actually mm, we have the plan, we have the program for uh, building the unorganized sector, along with organized sector. Now the unorganized workers number is increasing. So, in effect, uh, in every sector, all permanent workers are. They are losing their permanent nature of work, and they become a contract labor. Contract labor become a casual. This is a deep promotion. After pandemic, after two years pandemic, in a highly industrial area, lakhs and lakhs permanent employees losing their permanent job section. They are shifting to other places. For that, actually, we should have the uh, program, campaign, and uh, forming the uh, uh, broad union, state level, national level, sector wise union. For example, actually, migration workers in India, the number of migration workers is not small, very very big. For them, there is no single union or single sectoral union. with any central union maybe uh, name check uh, anybody have the separate union for migration all india migration workers you know. like actually plantation work even construction construction and building now actually we are uh, thinking about the sector uh, means actually there is the industrial sector now this is social sector now agricultural laborers they are losing their jobs in the villages they uh, reach the so urban area they are living in the slums they are the contract laborers of the building not only that actually i want to say a small example in bangalore actually there is a peter kirloskar the car manufacturing highly for manufacturing industry total strength is total workman strength is actually nearly 6 to 7000 somebody actually 5 years back the permanent worker strength is more than 
two to three thousand actually contract labor. Nowadays, what is happening? Now actually, permanent workers strength is thousand five hundred. Contract labor strength is five thousand five hundred. Poor arrivals are there. In each and every industry, we should study. For that, actually, the task of the central trade union to build the union, national level, state level, social sector level for emerging workers is a very important task. Now we openly have the uh, plan positions uh, with like men for system. Yes. So, uh, Kumar, now uh, one last question from me. Um, as a working class uh, leader, a struggling working class leader, you have been directly involving and leading the many massive struggles, especially in the mining sector, irrigation uh, industry, and the automobile industry, uh, like that. Uh, many uh, big struggles you have been leading. So what is your, uh, your most experience of those struggles? What is your uh, analyze on the, or, uh, the, the workers' movement? How it will be growing, or what will be the what are the main obstacles for the growth of the working class in this uh, through the struggle? So, yes, this is a very important uh, issue for practice. So we have the, uh, some experience in the struggle. For work, building the working class movement, uh, there is a legal platform, and another one is the Maida ground. But actually, up to this time, mainly the trade union struggle means the legal part, according to establishment. Now, now that is understood. Some tripartite meetings, two party meeting, consultation, some tribunal. We must want that legal opportunity platform for the movement, but that is not sufficient. My experience is, and means TVC experience in Karnataka and other states. We organize the even irrigation workers. We start the union with the irrigation workers in 2000. We uh, start writing up, uh, ask the uh, wage revision social security benefit and uh, other security. But authority or management or government is not provided in legal way. Then we uh, push in the street struggle. We are issuing the notice, we start the street struggle. Dharma, we are mobilizing the Dharma. 57 days Dharma. City bank, sector bank, actually. Naturally, once in we are moving towards the uh, struggle in the Maidan. Actually, we must face the case of police. Same thing, we will get the wonderful results. After 72 days struggle of the Tungabhadra workers, we get the wage revision. We are sitting in the Maidan. The wage revision path issued by the state government. The state government sent wage revision order copy to our struggle. Uh, place. Like now uh, in Karnataka, Tata Marco Polo work. Tata Marco Polo, Marco Polo from Brazil, Tata from Indian corporate, the joint venture, first manufacturing. We have the union, the Tata Marco Polo, Kantikari, Karnika Sang. From last two months, we are in the struggle. First, we are completing the legal the negotiation, cancellation, but no government, no management or respect or recognize the legalism. They want legal... Uh, the mic, your mic, comrade, your mic is not on. It's muted. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So they weren't doing 
then now the uh, tata workers uh, were in the struggle regarding tata workers wage increment from last two and a half years there is no wage revision we ask we actually minimum wage revision then tata management is not ready to discuss our tackle we held 70 or 80 round discussion after that actually we spot the dharna jata and street fight now we are in the street fight we hope that we we must create condition we must organize the politicize the organize the worker for actually street struggle otherwise actually now the only depending upon the legal platform or labor industry or conciliation is not possible that is a problem with the main problem nowadays we must depend upon the street struggle now the our uh, farmers heroes shows once again the streets are the real place for struggle courts are the once upon a time courts are the places now the courts are not <laughs> courts are not running judges are not sitting councils are not elding governments are not issuing interim relief to the workers they are not totally opposing they are totally opposing existing labor law the labor department main task is sabate is the existing labor law or helping the management or corporate sector in this time actually nowadays we must actually we have the experience with mobilizing struggling fighting with the police fighting with the management then inside the jail return back from the jail force the open street work uh, struggle uh, is very very important nowadays then only we attract the uh, support from the other sections upper sections uh, in society to the uh, work cluster yes uh, uh, thank you comrade for uh, your uh, valuable input in this series uh, uh, especially highlighting the um, uh, core political content uh, on uh, corporate attack on the working class as well as uh, uh, political uh, task of uh, working class Uh, as, a, uh, as a part of class struggle against the corporation. Uh, let us uh, continue the struggle. Let us uh, lead the workers. Let us unite the workers. The force of workers uh, will create a history. Working class will create a history for a, a better tomorrow. Thank you, comrade. Okay, comrade. The working class is a theoretical weapon for the Marxism. Marxism is the, the physical weapon of the Uh, physical weapon of the working class. Working class is the physical weapon of the market. We must yes. understand this relation. Thank you, Kumar. Thank you, Kumar. Thank you, Kumar.